Kinsey, number eight. Brown, but it's a throw in to Manchester. Barnes is a key man in this deep centre forward plan of Manchester's. Now Revy. Now it's Murphy. Now to Coven, number 11. And that was Ewing who managed to head that one clear. Now Levers, one of the doubtful men. Now Revy lying well back to pick up those loose balls. Clark. Revy calling for the ball. Ruby to Hayes. It's back. <laughs> Two minutes, 40 seconds gone. Manchester City have taken the lead. A third goal scored by Hayes. Throw to Birmingham. Eddie Brown. And a great chance. Is that it's a goal. That was Kinsey, the inside right, 14 minutes gone. And there's Kinsey, number eight, the scorer of the goal that makes it one goal each. A very good throw-in, just showing how you can use the throw-in for attacking purposes instead of just getting the ball into play. Rather like the American tennis players use their servant. Now, Astor... I want this will really liven the game up. That's Barnes. Barnes through. And it's a goal by the Lancashire cricketer, Jack Dyson. After exactly 20 minutes. And the ladies who are sitting in front of me, who one time looked happy, then very worried, are now hugging each other and kissing each other. Murphy, and a goal kick. Now those are the Manchester City supporters we're looking at at the moment, behind the goal to our right. Green winning this one. Green up to Govan. Brown, number nine. Now here's Bobby Johnston with a lovely chance for the third. It's there. Bobby Johnston. Well, Manchester City fans brought the cup with them, it appears. Boyd out to Govan. That's Brown. And I think Trotman's hurt. Yes, and so's Murphy. Looks like Murphy's knee and Trotman's head. Well, now, it's obviously not his head, but his neck. Now, this is the neck that Trotman hurt two years ago, uh, two weeks ago, rather, and he had to have uh, quite a lot of manipulative treatment to get the neck back in place. And um, it could well be serious for Manchester if that neck's been knocked out of joint again. But he's, you notice how popular he is with the Manchester fans, the tremendous cheering. Now, Trumpman really does look hurt, and it's no fun, quarter of an hour from the end in an FA Cup final, to have your goalkeeper worried by a bad neck, even if you are winning by three goals to one. After failure and disappointment last year, this year, success. And as Roy Paul comes up to receive the cup, 
the Manchester United supporters will be cheering. Well, it was a sad Roy Paul 12 months ago, almost to the day. Now overjoyed, no doubt, as he steps up to receive the trophy from the hands of Her Majesty the Queen. The Duke of Edinburgh looks delighted enough as well. There it is. Following him, Roy Clark, his colleague in the Welsh team. Then Ken Barnes. I thought Roy Clark was going to give it away then. And there's Little and Trotman now receiving that coveted uh, award, coveted medal, having a word with His Royal Highness. I should imagine he's forgotten all about his bad neck now. Don Reavy, the man who almost didn't play, Bobby Johnston. Now the losers, the gallant losers, always a disappointing moment for them.